So this is oneri, which is a Greek word, so I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. It means dreams. And essentially what it is, is a uh, four voice looper. Uh, each voice can be individually pitched and reversed or not. Um, it's the same loop going forwards now. And you have two modes of operation. Uh, when this button is turned off, then the looper responds to your playing. It listens for silences. So it'll record as long as it hears uh, an audio input. It uses an envelope follower for this. And we can see the little red recording button going. We have two controls that govern that. One is a threshold. Um, so if you have a lot of noise in your signal or pick, you're trying to avoid pick scrapes or whatever, uh, setting the threshold will help. I suggest setting it at some level uh, or else the, the looper will really sort of glitch out. Uh, and then there's an envelope follower release time. The way that that works is that the envelope follower goes into an ADSR and this controls the sustain length of that ADSR. So if you keep playing notes, the ADSR will keep being re-triggered, uh, but then it will, it will sustain for a certain amount of time after a note ends, which can allow you to play um, little trills like this loop. The longer the release is, the longer uh, your sequence of notes can be that you play. Um, if you turn it down, it gets kind of glitchy, which can be kind of fun. Um, so there's, you know, flexibility there for tuning the patch to your playing style. But you do have to play to silences, right? Because that's how it knows to move from one recording to the next recording. So you'll have to palm mute every now and then, or, or you know, uh, if you're using a synthesizer, you know, release a note. Um, so that's the, the normal mode of operation. There's also a clocked mode um, where the middle switch serves as a tap tempo. It also accepts MIDI clock, uh, which comes in here. And if you wanted to change the divisor to a different, uh, you know, beat division you could go there and, and do that uh, directly on the MIDI clock with firmware 1.13 this is a patch that really only functions with firmware 1.13 for instance this clocked version uses a tap to CV recorder or a converter to control the, the sustain stage of a envelope which works sort of as like a one-shot LFO in this sense right it works as a single period of time that's discrete that will go high that's used to control the recorder so I'll tap in a time change the fade time a little bit. There are two loops that cross fade between one another. So while one is playing, the other can be recording. And you'll see them fade from one to the other. But we can use tap tempo to determine how quickly this 
loop lasts or is recorded. Um, and we can go. some interesting, really short trills in there. Okay. We can also lock our loops in place with the right stomp switch. Now nothing will be recorded, which, you know, maybe you find some loops that you like, uh, you know, using a sort of a drone or, a, you know, backdrop or something to play over. You can also use this stomp switch to mix back and forth uh, between the loops. When you press it, when either one or the other loop is completely off, it will start fading back into the other loop. And if you press it at a point in between, you can lock in a mix between the, the two uh, layers of loops. Um, so, you know, that's something that, that uh, can really help uh, you play around with this as a soundscape thing. After the loops, um, you press it again to release it. After the loops, uh, leave the looper and the crossfader, which is an audio balance. They go through some filtering. There's a high pass filter. And between the high pass filter and the low pass filter, there's a phaser. Um, I've put a bunch of the phaser controls into a macro called phaser intensity it controls the depth of the phaser, the resonance of the phaser, the mix of the phaser. Um, so as you push it up, the phaser becomes more intense. Um, and as you push it down, it becomes less intense until it's off if you don't want to use the phaser. I like it because it adds a, a sense of subtle movement to the loops without, I think, being overbearing. And there's a tap tempo for the phaser. I like keeping it real slow. So again, that just adds that air of um, movement. After that is a high pass filter for cutting out some of the lows. And then a reverb, which is a reverb light that, again, there's a macro that controls both the decay and the mix. Um, this will always reflect the mix, the same with the phaser. The number you see is the mix, so it's at 50% reverb right now. The decay increases slightly faster than the mix. Um, and then there's a wet and dry level uh, control for, for setting your mix between the two. Um, because there's so much filtering and so many different voices and uh, the way they can overlap, um, I, I thought it was better to do wet-dry levels rather than a mix control for this patch. And that's uh, Oniroi. 